URP Moshimiwa Sonia Berdi joins us now to tell us more about the situation that has emerged following the emergence of that video. Moshimiwa, thanks for your time today. Could you tell us why you were there and why that particular container was of specific interest to yourself and Honorable Kiter? I certainly will. Thank you very much, Yvonne. How are you doing this evening? <laughs> Great, thank you. Good, Yvonne. Um, it's very simple. The, the point was that lots of people had been calling me uh, regarding the corruption at um, the Weybridge. Okay? Um, you, we could, people could go at the Weybridge and get stuck for some certain reason or the other. Okay? Mm -hmm. What happened at that, that particular day uh, which was yesterday, some of my friends called me and said that this is a problem again. Ever since I've come into Parliament, I've had so many complaints from so many people, including members of my community, saying that there is a problem from here and there. So this Weybridge thing had been a problem for a long time. And um, as we were in Navasha, as you heard from Mishma Keter, that we were together in Navasha. And it really bothered me. I said, Mishma to Keter, no, I really don't know what to do about this because these people are asking for something very strange, which does not make sense. Can we find out what the problem is? So we tried to find out what the problem is, and nobody was responding. And after three and a half, four hours, when nobody was responding, we decided to go and find out what the problem was. Mm -hmm. My interest in this whole situation is the interest of the people of the country of Kenya. People might say, I mean, I know this thing has gone violent from the morning and it has not come out in the right fashion in any matter. It looks as if we people are saying we have become big-headed okay, because yeah. we're MPs. No, but I must justify, please give me a moment to say yeah, something. Right. It's very wrong that media can come and, and scratch on you when you're standing for the rights of people. All right, it, it has come out really badly okay. and I must allow say, me, I, me I to have interject absolutely for a moment. no problem. Mm -hmm. The reason why I'm standing here today is because of the rights of those individuals who are standing at Weybridge and other places. Okay. All right. Allow me to interject at this point because, as you say, the video has gone viral and those who have watched it, take issue with the approach of both yourself and Moshimiwa Keter in getting there, um, that the policemen felt bullied, harassed, the use of expletive language that yes. perhaps, um, yes. I know Moshimiwa Keter has said that uh, he was emotional at the time, yes. but um, do you condone his actions and indeed yours as opposed to people's opinions that uh, you went there to harass the officials? We, uh, we did not go there to ha harass the officials at all. In fact, I must say one thing that I actually appreciate the recording this police officer did. Because had he not recorded, we would have made a statement the next day, it would have not been in media at all. It would not be news. All right, you say, um, had he not have recorded it, you'd have made a statement the next day. This yes. event happened yesterday, yes, but you did not make a statement no. until see, the video came out. My dear Yvonne, huh? I am very happy. I had already, it was so important for me to get this out into the media, but I am really happy the way this gentleman has brought that recording out. Because, first of all, we were upset. Because he started recording when he thought it was necessary. Okay? Mm -hmm. The whole thing has not been put out there. Why not? Why only those five minutes? All right. So let's talk about, and I think uh, this is the great one that comes out, and it's um, the involvement of and the name dropping, as has come out from State House today. They're distancing themselves from this incident. They're saying Mr. Keter made a number of claims and he was basically doing nothing more than mm. name dropping and mm. that uh, leaders are reminded that the Constitution requires them to serve and demonstrate respect for the people. Um, and in fact, Manoa Sipisu says the presidency commends the public officers who resistant the apparent intimidation. I'd like your thoughts on that. Yvonne, why 
is the media not asking me where the problem is why Wait. are you guys asking me back taking me back to the presidency why is the media not going and sorting out this situation in at the wage bridge please tell me that all right so what is because, the situation there because we did I ask already, about no, your no, no, interest no, no, in this no, particular let, let case let us put things let us put things in the right context eh? mm -hmm. you talk about the presidency you talk about mps being pigs you talk us about you know so many interesting things paka in the fact is that today i cannot go into public without being called names Mashibu, and my I have first question to you though i am standing for the right, right of people and you know what mm -hmm. i respect mishma kiter because he stood with me okay right? so you condone so his actions i am i am saying look dropping names people do that who does not do that tell me who does not do that right so you But agree that you did name drop who is standing for the rights of the, those people tell me that okay ni kwa sababu nimesema simama for the right of those people all right let's get that back to then moshimiwa for the wrong people moshimiwa let's get back to my first question then which to I, you I, was I, this, this one i must say <laughs> this one i right. really feel let's something is so strange here all right my I, first I, I question to you accept, huh? my I, I first really question to you moshimiwa this is why i'm standing this is why i've decided not to keep quiet because we went there for a genuine reason all right let's get back to my first question to you which is the specific interest that you had in this case can we talk about that because you say a lot else happened but let's restrict ourselves to what we did see in the video there was that particular case of a truck that uh, was not allowed to go ahead and not allowed to go forward because according to the police the papers were not right So could you explain to us that specific case and why you took interest in it? Uh, and what exactly has the police told you why the papers are not right? I'm asking you, Mashimiwa. No, but I'm asking you first. No, we will have Again. to speak to the police. That's okay because those papers according to that video they showed us a document. I'm sorry, uh, there's a lot of feedback, <laughs> huh? Sorry. According to the paperwork that was presented uh, to us, it said that there's one paper that was supposed to be presented. Uh-huh. Okay. if a contractor has been in the industry for the last 40 years or 35 years eh, that contractor must know what are the rules and the regulations is that right or not you cannot spring up these regulations and rules overnight and say this is you have to do or you cannot go my dear friend ivon let me tell you something i am going to get this evidence and the day i do i shall bring it forward i am not standing here for something small and i am not scared because i am standing for the truth i am standing for the truth for all those transporters who have sent me messages and please give me a minute i must read this message because they're saying they're saying um that um that we as transporters feel really disturbed with events at way bridges where legislation to our understanding is that a truck is only to be weighed at one point of entry and pass all stations thereafter but this sadly is not happening a truck will leave mombasa under load pass under load pass at the river only to be arrested at gilgil overloaded okay these are sealed containers how can it happen and all trucks are fitted with ECTS where they are monitored by KRA okay and i've not moved from highway except rest stops okay all right all right so okay. this i am I, i have justification ivon i would not be here if i did not have justification yeah okay all right thank you very much for your thank time you. we will thank continue thank you ivon this conversation another time we're running out of time but thank you thank for you. your time and thanks for coming to clarify thank you Yvonne. thank issues. you all right thank you. much appreciated thank you